wanted to show you guys uh, the batteries that this sucker came with. So there's the box that came in. And these would be the 5.0, the 5.0 batteries. And these aren't the biggest batteries that, uh, that they come with. And this would be the 2.5, I think it's 2.5, the 2.5 amp hour batteries. And this is what came with um, my weed eater that I got, weed whacker, grass trimmer, whatever, depending on what part of the country you're from. This came with the, um, the, the weed eater and two of these. Here's the other one. So two, two of these big boys came with the snowblower. Now here's the charging, the fast charger. And uh, this takes about 30 minutes to charge the 5.0 amp hour. And um, that's pretty gigantic. If you look, that's, that's huge. The one that came with the uh, weed eater is uh, about the same size of a power tool um, charging charging dock. So these batteries, the uh, 5.0, I looked on Amazon, are 380 bucks each. 380 dollars for no wait a minute. That's for the 7.5. Ego has four size batteries, 7.5, 5.0, 2.5, and 2.0 amp hour batteries. Now these 5.0 are 240 bucks. The 7.5, which is the biggest that they have, is um, $380 a piece. So they're pretty hefty. Hey guys, I wanted to show you the snow blower before Sunday, before it snows and I actually get it all dirty. But this is how it came out, except for the um, handles were folded. Now these are, this is where the two batteries they got, this is where they go. Now with Ego, the um, each each ego product see i don't even have the shoot on each ego product you no matter what size battery you can interchange the batteries to any product ego product so you can use if you ha only have a 2.0 battery they'll fit in there but i got the 5.0 batteries but and but the biggest 7.5 amp hour batteries will will fit in there in fact they were probably preferred and so this is um, supposed to be weather sealed. So when the snow comes back, it's not going to get on the batteries. Um, and there has the gauge. It even has lights. It even has the lights for it. for it. See right there, the lights. Only problem I have is it don't have like the the ground sliders that most of them have that keeps your uh, blades from actually scraping on the ground. And that this is plastic. Is this plastic or aluminum? No, this ain't plastic. It feels like plastic. I wonder how well this is going to hold up, but we'll see. And we'll do a review on that. Because we're not going to miss one thing. And then this obviously turns the chute. And then you just have your push button right there. So that's it. And you can easily, with these quick hand, quick release handles, can fold it up and put it away when uh, when you're done with it. So I was looking, I was looking uh, like, how in the world does this shoot go on? So I looked at the grooves, and I thought automatically there's grooves right here. I thought it was going like this. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So I went and got the instructions. And instruction said that it goes this way. But then, what do you mean it goes that way? So it's just sitting on top of all of that? That makes no sense. It's just going to sit on top of that. 
So my daughter, point at yourself. So my daughter, no, not point at the camera. Turn the camera face you. So my daughter was like, Dad, what about inside? Don't it go inside here? I'm like, what? So I tried it. Check this out. Hold on. Let me lock this in. Boom. Check that out. She was right. It goes in, in here. So let me pull it out and show you again. So this thing, these ta this tab, long tab right here, goes inside, not on top, as the instructions looked like it was doing. So you slide it in there, and then you put the hex bolts in. Yeah, I was, like, I was about to call the company, like, you sent me the wrong shoot. <laughs> I was getting mad. I should have had it already put together, but I'm unboxing it. So, <clears throat> it doesn't help if I've already got it put together. And then what do I have to show you guys besides shooting snow, huh? So, let me get this down. Something like that on. I don't want to hear you talk. She's sitting there playing TikTok as she's trying to film me. <laughs> what in the world? That's what happens when you have somebody in charge. <laughs> you're not even me. watching what you're filming. <laughs> you're probably pointing at my tire. No. <laughs> I'm going to take my eyes down like this. You guys like my tire? <laughs> <laughs> so, show them this, Zoe. Hold on. So I have two batteries here, actually I have three. Two of them came with a, a snow blower. But I want to show you the different sizes. You're not even looking to see, come on. So, you don't have to get that close, back up some. So, um, she's learning, work in progress, we're both learning actually. So this is the 2.5 amp hour, and this is the 5.0 amp hour. Now this one is the one that came with my um, gas trimmer, or my gas trimmer, my grass trimmer. And these are the ones that, uh, you can get these or the 7.5. And like I said, these are 200 and, uh, 240 bucks for one, for one of these. If you get the 7.5 amp hour, which it will be best for this, you, is $380 just for, for one of them. Come on over here, Zoe. I'm going to show them where, how I put the battery in. So you let the weather shield show them down in there. And uh, this is where the battery will be going. I've already got it charged. Just slides in like that, and you push down. Wait till it clicks, and I'll go get the other battery. I want to show you something. So, see all that room right there? If you have the 7.5 amp hour, that'll be completely filled inside. But since I got the, they gave me the 5.0 amp hour, this is what we'll use. Next thing, next thing left to do is to tighten these handles down. So, show them this. So I'm trying to get to where it's even with the, uh, the indentations right there. I'm going to just tighten it just a little bit with this. Is it tightening? There we go. Yes, yeah, tightening. And you don't want to you want to torque it. You just want to get enough to. You gotta work with it and figure out which is the uh that's the problem with this. Loosening up just enough to where this will tighten, this will pull back and tighten up. Nope. So I gotta loosen it up some more. Make sure it's in the groove. Bam, that snapped. So now I gotta do this one. You got it. She's over here taking pictures again. <laughs> 
So you got to adjust this until it snaps. Nope. So I got to loosen it. Nope. Loosen it some more. Bam. There we go. And that's it. Turn it off, buddy. So as you can see, I've already did some of it last night or yesterday. And, um... Batteries end up dying. So I did all this in like two strips down my driveway before the battery died. And uh, which sucked and it didn't impress me. But that's what happens when I don't use the 7.5 7 amp hour instead of the 5.0 uh, amp hour. So look, thankfully, it all didn't melt away. So I can show you a little bit of how it works problem I ran into is it's not self-propelled is because it was so wet and so dense as you can check by the how thick it was I was only able to use about this much of the snow blower if I used any more there was there was no way pushing it you'd go a little way and you had to stop go a little way and you'd have to stop and it got annoyed well let me show you how to start this over here honey so you, you push down on the green button and then you pull in the handle and that's how it works. right here because I've already took my truck and drove across it was compacted and pretty much turned into ice. So now I just start right here where I didn't drive. And I'm glad it just did that. See the cracks in the pavement? It's like when you shovel snow and you run into them and you're like <laughs> it about lifts you up like that when you're trying to push the, the shovel. What happens with a single stage? Your chute gets clogged when it's wet. She's got to push it down.
side mount press. Now with a uh, two cycle, self propelled, this would have took care of it pretty quick. You see how you had to push it and pull it back, push it and pull it back. You might as well just use a shovel. Unless you go, unless you only use like part of it instead of using the whole front because it just don't. It's wet snow, it, it's not like it whatsoever. <clears throat> Ego, I'm not impressed. I'd give it a three stars. Um, I haven't really used a single stage. And by the sound of my breath, I'm having pulmonary issues. I'll probably have to go back to the second or two stage uh, snowblower because this ain't going to help me. It likes to clog. It takes a lot of energy to push it. <clears throat> and it running over these cracks and getting hung up. Yeah, it's not going to, it's not going to benefit me. Now, as you can see, the driveway is pretty long. I could probably put, 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 um, three semis back to front. And just by doing this little bitty area and two strips going back and then coming back for the battery was already dead so when it died of course it takes an hour well actually it takes 30 minutes but since it takes two batteries it took about an hour so i waited for the first one to get done charging took it off put the put the um the last battery on the charge and we just went and got something to eat because i got tired of waiting and then when i came back I did a little bit more, but it was too late. And that's when I was really hitting these cracks. And I just got fed up with hitting the cracks and getting stopped in my tracks. So I was like, you know what, screw it. I'll come out and, and finish up tomorrow. But I really hurt myself riding over, the, over it with the truck and compacting it and pretty much turning it to ice. So I'm only able to get, it don't matter, only, only able to get, uh, one car width done, which don't matter. Only one vehicle. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to have to come up with the money to, to try the two stage ego and see if it's any different. Because right now I'm not impressed. I don't know if it was made for the 7.5 and they only sent me the 5.0 batteries. But the, the 5.0 batteries with this this type of blower, if, if it's not a two, if it's not if it's longer than two car lengths, I wouldn't get this. I had to do the sidewalk. Now I don't know how I'm gonna get through the sidewalk because I done made that part ice. I might just wait till it thaws out because I don't feel like messing with this anymore. Of course, um. It might actually be good for somebody who's healthy enough to push it. I'm not healthy enough to push it. It's too much of a struggle. And uh, someone who has a smaller driveway <laughs> and with less cracks, or at least make them be even, because this thing does not like to go over them. So there you have it. Please like and subscribe for, for our next reviews. Cause I'll be ha I'll be ha I'll be getting a two stage ego and then I'll I'll show what it's like and I guarantee you well, I shouldn't guarantee because I thought this one was going to be great but it turned out to be a um, a disappointment but I think that's more because of my health because regardless I think regardless of what um, what brand of uh, single stage blower you get blower you get it's going to be the same. They're not going to handle the wet snow very good. And it's just going to take a lot of energy to push it. There you have it.